What's up everybody and welcome back to Ben's Big Drive. Now this is Vlogsmas day number one. So get ready, 24 more videos coming. It's gonna be a long three and a half weeks, but I'm excited and I hope you guys are along for the ride. Vlogsmas baby, we're doing it, 2022. So I wanted to start off Vlogsmas 2022 this way. I wanted to talk to you all who are aspiring disc golf YouTubers because guess what? I guess I am one. So I thought I'd give you some advice. So you wanna be a disc golf YouTuber. Let me tell you first of all what you don't need. And the first thing that you don't need is expensive camera equipment. I started off as a wedding videographer. I did weddings professionally. I've done video and photography. I wanted to be a filmmaker uh, in a past life before I uh, fell in love with disc golf. Thank the Lord to save me from that. But I started off with this camera equipment and it has helped me a lot and I'm not gonna lie. And I, my experience in, in lighting and video editing has done me awesome. But if you guys just have a cell phone, that's plenty to start vlogging. You guys would not believe how many people have successful YouTube channels with just an iPhone. I mean, you look at, there are plenty of disc golfers out there making YouTube content with just an iPhone. And let me tell you that if you don't have an expensive camera or an expensive microphone or audio equipment, that you don't need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars before you get started. Just get out there, learn what you can do with the equipment you have and get after it. Don't let equipment be a prohibiting factor to you getting started. Now that we've answered what you don't need, let me talk about the things that you do need. And the first thing that you're gonna need is dedication. The first question you have to answer is, why am I starting this channel? What life goal am I trying to accomplish when I started this disc golf channel? Is it to have fun and make content? That's an amazing goal. Go ahead and do that. Is it to, I wanna be a sponsored player. I wanna grow my social media following so that a disc golf company sees me as valuable. That's a great idea. That should be your goal and that should be your motivating factor when you go to make videos. Is your goal to be a disc golf coach? Do you have experience playing disc golf and you have knowledge that you wanna share with the, the world? That's exactly what I've been doing. That's what you should do. Take that knowledge, put it onto the camera, and go hard at making content. Now what you can't do is start without a goal. And let me tell you this, a real good goal is not to be popular, to get subs. That will get you nowhere. If your goal is to just put out content that gets views and gets subs, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up making the same thing as everybody else. You're gonna put it out there and it's gonna fall flat. Let me tell you, I've been there, done that, spent a lot of time on content that didn't do well because I'm trying to be like everybody else. What you have to do is say, why do I wanna get subs? What is it that I am putting all this time and effort in towards? What is my goal? And you keep that at the front of your mind while you're going through these ruts of, it takes a long time to edit a video. I don't have any ideas. Your motivation and your goal that you set at the beginning is what's gonna get you through and it's why I'm still here doing disc golf videos today. Now, it takes some people years to get to where they wanna be when they start a YouTube channel, and why is that? It's hard to start a YouTube channel. It's so much work. Even then, when I started, I thought it was gonna be maybe a 10th of the amount of work that it actually is. And when you get into those ruts of not having motivation or inspiration for content, it's your goal that's gonna bring you out of it. And you also have to be willing to make sacrifices. You have to sacrifice playing time. You have to sacrifice practice time. Your disc golf game very will, very will, very will may, very well may suffer from you starting a YouTube channel. That's a sacrifice you may have to make. If you're out here trying to make instructional content, that's gonna take away time from your practice. And you're gonna have to be okay with that and say that the goal that I've set is worth more than this practice opportunity. If it's not, Maybe YouTube isn't for you. Maybe you should just continue to focus on your game and grind to be a pro. But if you're not willing to sacrifice playing time, even when it's nice outside and you're sitting in here editing a video, been there, you're gonna have to make those decisions and sacrifice 
to get to that goal. Now, let me leave you with this. The one question that will determine your 100% success, and this is absolutely true, the one question that you have to answer is, what do I offer the Disc Golf YouTube community that nobody else does? When I sat down to do this, months before I started my Disc Golf channel, I made a big long list and I can show you this list. It's actually pretty funny. I went to a brewery with some friends before Ben's Big Drive was even, I even knew the name. And I sat down with this huge, extensive, long list of here's what I offer, here are my plans, here's the type of content that I want to put out, here's the quality of content that I wanted to put out. Got some looks, I got some funny looks for what I said, and I stuck to it. And here we are. My goals were here's what I have to offer. That the answer to that question for me is I can offer super high quality instructional content. A, I've spent thousands of hours practicing and loving the sport of disc golf and the backhand form. And then B, I can offer super high quality videos because that is within my skill set. That's my natural skill set. That's something I've grown up with as an adult is knowledge of video making, knowledge of lighting, knowledge of sound, all of that stuff. That's what I have to offer that's unique. Now that might not be what you have to offer. Maybe what you have to offer is an incredible personality. Maybe you're hilarious on camera even more than me, very unlikely, but maybe you're the next Conan O'Brien of disc golf and that's what you have to offer. Make your videos funny, lean into that. Maybe you're the best teacher that there ever was. Cut out all the fluff, no funny intros, and just get down to teaching. And maybe you're a great disc golfer. Maybe you're like the next Paul Macbeth. Lean into that. Have footage of you playing. Have yourself standing out as a disc golfer on camera. People will eventually catch on to that. Say, wow, you're so good, I love watching you. There's so much content out there right now that you have to be unique. And the way that you be unique is you ask yourself, why would people choose to spend their valuable time when there's so much content out there watching your content? And not just watching any content in general, watching something you have to offer. You have to think of it this way. If someone chooses to watch your YouTube video, that's five to 10 minutes of their time that they could be doing something else productive. You have to make it worth the time of your viewers to watch your video, and that is everything. If you can come up with something valuable and unique to say, this is worth the five to 10 minutes that I'm spending on this, that I could be spending doing anything else. And in 2022, we have a million options of what we could spend our time doing. But if you can corner your corner of the market and say, people should spend their time watching my videos because the answer to that question is your channel, is your success, lean into that 100%, dedicate yourself to it, and you'll be at a level where you wanna be. You'll find that success. You'll get to that goal if you commit to the dedication that it takes to being consistent and if what you're offering people is something that they want. So if you have the dedication and something that people want, eventually people will find you. It may take longer for you than it does for others. Don't get discouraged. Put that goal on a whiteboard. Put that in front of your face every single day commit to it and you'll find the success that you want. It's a commitment, it's a time sink, but I promise you that if you really want it and you work as hard as you can, you will get there. And I'm still trying to get there and I hope that every single one of you who watched this video because you wanna be a YouTuber gets there as well. And that's all I have. Buckle up, tons of content coming. It's Vlogsmas, baby. We're doing it and uh, follow along for more of Ben's big Vlogmas.